Welcome back. Three people familiar with President Biden's State of the Union speech tomorrow night tell NBC News that parts of the address are undergoing edits in the wake of his recent incident involving a Chinese surveillance balloon traversing the U.S. But moments ago, when asked by our own Kelly O'Donnell at the White House if the situation has changed his speech or his foreign policy message overall, the president replied no. In addition to addressing tensions with China, the president is also expected to use this address to begin laying out his pitch for a second term, even though he has has yet to officially announce a 2024 re-election campaign. Joining me now from the White House is NBC's Mike Memoli. So, Mike, you and I have been working our sources. And essentially, the message is this. This China section has been written for quite some time. But obviously, it needs to be updated in some areas to reflect the developments over the past several days. Tell us what your sources, my sources, Carol's, Monica's sources <laughs> have been telling us. Yeah, that's right, Kristen. I mean, you know this so well, obviously, as we've covered this White House together the last two years. China has really been front and center in so many different ways for President Biden, not just obviously on a foreign policy basis, but also in shaping his domestic policy. How often have we heard him recall that trip that I took with him 12 years ago to the Tibetan Plateau, where he had that long meeting with Xi Jinping when they were both vice president? Really has been such so foundational in the way in which Biden has approached his presidency. And so that's why aides are telling us there was always going to be a, a section of this speech devoted to the U.S.-China relationship. And part of the conversations that are now happening in the final hours are just how much to refine that to incorporate the developments over the last few days, especially in light of the heavy Republican criticism of how President Biden has managed the situation and in light of the politics. Remember, this new Republican House that just took office has created a select committee focused on the China-U.S. relationship, wanting to de delve into it closely. As uh, Republicans look at 2024, one area they really want to attack the president on is for not being strong enough on China. So that's really the backdrop against which his aides are, are, are crafting this section and want to make sure that it meets the moment, but also doesn't further inflame the situation. That's something they're also careful about, especially after Secretary of State Tony Blinken took that step of canceling his trip to Beijing just before he was due to leave. Uh, now, more broadly, though, you know as well as you've laid it out so well, the 2024 backdrop to this speech. Mm -hmm. I'm told by my sources that the president really wants to reconnect with those themes of his candidacy in 2020, those core promises he made to voters, and essentially lay out in this speech the ways in which he feels like he's delivered on all of them uh, and ways he's really rebuilt the foundation for growth in the future. Yeah, we will be paying close attention to the China section, but of course his tone tomorrow night, this is going to be his first time speaking to a divided Congress. Mike, I talked to Congressman Don Bacon earlier today who said he really hopes that he strikes a note of bipartisanship. But as you rightfully point out, this is all coming against the backdrop of 2024. So we'll be watching closely. Mike, thank you so much. And do not miss our special live coverage of the President's State of the Union Address. It kicks off tomorrow night at 8 p.m. right here on NBC News Now. Chuck and I will have special post-State of the Union coverage and analysis starting at 11 p.m. We will be right back. You're watching Meet the Press now. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.